Hello there, this is Daniele from Toolchefs and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to have a look at the gameplay debugger and how you can check the metadata of, of your agents as well as the current state of the behavior tree uh, with the gameplay debugger. So I'm going to press play. Here I'm playing the shooter demo that you can download from the website. And uh, if I press the single quote button on the keyboard, uh, now I've, I've activated the gameplay debugger. If I press three on the numpad, uh, basically we uh, are seeing basically the metadata of the agent that is currently at the center of the of the viewport. So here, uh, let me just make this a bit bigger. Uh, if you see here, we have the at the center we have the, both the name of the agent group as well as the uh, ID of the group ID of the agent that is currently at the center of the viewport. And on the left, we have the, uh, all the metadata for that specific agent. So we have the group ID here, which matches the frame rate, uh, the active state and all other, uh, you know, uh, metadata that are uh, attached to this agent. Uh, also, if I press uh, uh, slash on the numpad, you'll be able to lock um, the debugger to that, that specific agent. Uh, you can also press again slash to unlock it and now you can switch again to other agents. Uh, if you press also star, uh, this now shows also the current state of the behavior tree. So you can see where both the active states, but also the, uh, uh, you know, the blackboard keys and its values and, and their values uh, and everything related to the behavior tree. So this is how you can use the gameplay debugger to check the metadata uh, runtime uh, of your agent as well as the state of the behavior tree. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.